grade 6 math, number 5.5, solve proportions using unit rates. A proportion, if you remember from our previous videos, is a statement that two given ratios are equal. It's an equivalent ratio found by multiplying to scale up or dividing to scale down. A unit rate is a rate that makes a comparison to one unit, like ounces, gallons, or hours, 15 cents per ounce. $2.50 per gallon or 55 miles per hour, like that. That's a unit rate. Emma drove her car 116 miles to her grandmother's house. If she used four gallons of gas, how much gasoline will she use to drive 174 miles? So we need to find the unit rate of miles per gallon for her car. So we write a proportion, 116 over 4, and we divide the 116 and the 4 by the denominator, the 4. We do the division, because basically this is a division problem. 4 goes into 116 29 times, evenly, so we know that she gets 29 miles for each gallon. So now we write an equivalent rate by dividing 174 by 29. If she gets 29 miles to the gallon, how many 29s fit into 174? So we do our math. We round the 29 to 30 and the 174 to 180. Do a little math on the side when we come up with 6 to make sure, and it is 174. So we know she's going to use 6 gallons to drive the 174 miles, and that's our proportion. See? A man who weighs 192 pounds on Earth would weigh about 32 pounds on the moon. So how much would his 48-pound dog weigh on the moon? So we think we need to find a unit rate of pounds on the Earth per pound on the moon. The 192 over 32 gets divided by the denominator. 192 divided by 32 turns out to be 6. We rounded the 32 to 30 and then 192 to 180, and we got a 6. And it worked out perfectly. So we know that every six earth pounds is one moon pound. So that's what we do for the dog. If his dog weighs 48 pounds on earth, we divide it by six and it's 48. See? So we know that his dog would weigh eight pounds, see? Six times eight is 48. Six earth pounds is one moon pound, see? Okay, now we've got D over 10 is equal to three over six. Well, we need to make these equivalent proportions. So what we do is we divide the three six by three and get a half. That's simplifying it to its lowest terms anyway. So if 3 over 6 is a half, then d over 10 has to be a half. And what do we need to make d over 10 a half? We need to multiply the numerator and denominator by 5, and it becomes 5 tenths. So we know d is 5. See? Now sometimes doing a unit rate is harder. And sometimes it's just easier to do the extremes and means. See? And to use the... Uh, cross multiplication for ratios, see? If we've got 3 over a is equal to 2 over 1.25, what we can do is multiply the 3 times the 1.25 and get 3.75. And now we just find out 2 times what is 3.75. So we divide the 3.75 by the 2. And after we do our long division, we come up with 1.875. So we know that 2 times 1.875 equals the 3.75, see? And I had even add a 0 at the end to make it come out with the 5 at the end, see? So we know that A is equal to 1.875. Now, we could have multiplied the 1.25 to get rid of the decimal. So I could have turned it into like, you know... I know 425s makes a whole one, so we could have made it a 5 by multiplying it by 4, and then we would have multiplied the 2 by a 4, and we would have 8 over 5. But it would have turned into a decimal anyway, 
So it was easier to just use the means and extremes way of cross multiplying to find the answer and then dividing, see? So unit rates are great when you're dealing with money or big numbers. Like if you're trying to find out, you know, if someone drove 1,200 miles, you know, how many hours it took them. You know, when you're using big numbers like that, or like this weight, then unit rates are great. But when you're using tiny little numbers like this, I would just cross multiply, especially if there's decimals, okay? I hope this helped. Keep trying, keep up the good work, and I'll see you next video. Bye.